In this video we will look at the various weapon systems available to the aircraft. Hellfire missiles are the primary weapon available. They come in laser guided or radar guided versions. Which version you use determines which sensor systems can be used to guide the missile. Hydra 70mm rockets can be mounted through the M261 rocket pod. Various warheads can be loaded within a single pod. Lastly, the M230E1 chain gun rounds out the armament. Weapons are loaded by selecting the M299 Hellfire Rack or M261 Rocket Pod and selecting the ordnance for a subsection. A subsection consists of either an individual Hellfire Rail or a Rocket Pod Zone. There are four rails available on the M299 Rack and any possible combination can be loaded on the four rails. Types include first generation Alpha and Charlie, second generation Kilo, Mike and November, and the radar guided Longbow. Each type has differing characteristics in warhead and guidance capabilities. There are three zones available on the M261 rocket car. Zones Alpha or Charlie, Zones Bravo or Delta, and Zone Echo. Which station the pod is loaded on determines which zones it has. Only Zone Echo is available to all stations. Rocket types include M151 High Explosive, M229 High Explosive, M261 Multipurpose Submunition, and M255 Flechette. Once selections are complete, a station can be loaded with the desired configuration. When finished with individual stations, the entire aircraft can be loaded with the selected weaponry. Actual loading of ordnance takes several seconds. The external model will show ordnance in the appropriate locations. The loadout is shown on the weapon page. M230 round count is indicated in the center. When the M230 is active, the left side of the page indicates the current burst set. Hellfires are indicated by a missile icon with either an R or an L to indicate secret type. R indicates longbow, L indicates laser. When Hellfire missiles are active, the page reflects the current trajectory selected and the laser secret type. When rockets are active, the left side of the page is changed to reflect the warhead loading in each zone and the rocket count in that zone. 